Today we got an exciting new spell coming in the next Clash of Clans update. In this video, I'm gonna explain what it does, who can unlock it, as well as some ideas for how it might be used. So at Town Hall 12, the Dark Spell Factory will become upgradable to level six, which will unlock the new Overgrowth spell. This is a two housing space spell with what appears to be a 12 tile radius that renders enemy defenses invisible, invulnerable, and frozen for a set duration depending on its level. But attacking troops will completely ignore buildings and defenses inside of the overgrowth. Also, the spell will not suspend or hide defensive heroes, clan castle troops, or traps including ground bombs, air bombs, and skeleton traps. Only the hidden tezzles will appear to activate but will not emerge while the overgrowth is in effect. Seize machines such as the wall wrecker and log launcher cannot travel through buildings covered in overgrowth but instead will get stuck in place until the spell wears off or they're destroyed. When the overgrowth timer runs out, the roots will retract back into the ground, leaving tiny bits of debris that can be cleared by defending players when you tap them. This new spell can be upgraded at Town Hall 12 with a level 10 laboratory to level two for 125,000 dark elixir and a 10 day upgrade timer, which will increase the spell's duration to 24 seconds. The level three overgrowth with a 26 second duration can be achieved at Town Hall 14 for 250,000 dark elixir and a 12 day upgrade time. And then at Town Hall 16, the overgrowth with a 28 second duration can be maxed out at level four for 350,000 dark elixir and a 16 day upgrade time. Also, this spell can be obtained by Town Hall 11 players via the clan castle reinforcement request. Now, when we first saw this spell, I was a little thrown off on how to apply something that is basically a freeze and an invisibility spell at the same time. And so I was thinking that it might be a spell that we could use on the back end of the attack because it could protect something like the Electro Dragons. And that's the replay that we have right now. We got some heroes working in, we did zap some of the air defenses, although I did miss this guy right here, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna pick it up with the Stone Slammer. Now this is a maxed out Town Hall 12 with a level two overgrowth in the spell comp. So there goes our Stone Slammer, here comes our balloons, our Electro Dragons and our Grand Warden. Now there are two defenses that we have to worry about when it comes to the Electro Dragons and that would be the Air Sweeper as well as the single target Inferno Tower. So here comes our E-Drags taking down the Town Hall. They're gonna work their way up into the Eagle Artillery and we have one section of the base that has a single target. We're gonna go ahead and use the Overgrowth right there and what happens is it shuts the defenses down but it also redirects our Electro Dragons to go to another building away from it. They did do a zap or get like that chain value on the buildings, but there was no damage dealt because they were inside of the roots. So the Electro Dragons are gonna go down. They're gonna take out all the buildings on the right side, getting some nice zap value. They're also gonna take out the, th uh, the second Inferno Tower, and then they're gonna go all the way back towards that placement where the overgrowth was used, and they're gonna be able to easily take out this section because there's a large group of Electro Dragons left over. So this was just one way that I thought we could possibly use this spell as like one of those back end spells to protect the troops and they're going to finish off this base very nicely. But there was actually something in the patch notes that stood out to me and it says this means attacking troops will completely ignore buildings and defenses affected by overgrowth spell allowing new ways for you to funnel and path your troops. And that made me think of this next idea. Now based on that statement that we could funnel troops in a different way, this made me think of a really old style of attacking back in the day where we used Valkyries to clear out the cores of bases like this. Now this is one of those concentrated bases where we have the defenses all in the core and we're really trying to combat stuff like the Root Riders. So we use a jump spell and a raid spell using a super wall breaker to open up the center compartment, but we're gonna use overgrowth on one side and the other side essentially creating that fun to the core. So we got the King, Queen, Warden, and 37 Valkyries that are gonna go into a bunch of freeze spells, a rage spell, a poison spell for the Clan Castle troops. And then we're gonna use the Warden's Eternal Tome with the Healing Tome to protect our Valkyries. They're gonna take down the Town Hall. We're gonna see the, uh, the Invisibility Spell Towers go off, but we're gonna activate that King's ability. And he's gonna take out the Eagle Artillery. We still got Valkyries working in there with 
with the queen and the warden. And then we're gonna work the royal champion with a battle drill from the top corner of the base, picking up defenses that are left over, i.e. those cannons, those archer towers, those mortars, as well as the wizard towers. So the queen has worked her way back up top to clear buildings, but we also brought the new equipment for the royal champion being the hog rider puppet. So we use the seeking shield to destroy some defenses, and there goes the hog riders assisting the royal champion. The battle drills navigated to the other side, and then we got like two wizards that are finishing up and clearing around the owl sides of the base. So that is um, definitely a unique spell, huh? <laughs> it was really something that made me think of if we can refunnel or a new way of funneling, we could do stuff like this. But what do you guys think?